Welcome to Precision Weigh and Balances. Today we'd like to talk to you about the moisture pans and filter pads that we have to offer for some of the most popular moisture balances on the market. Today we're showing you this is a Sartorius MA35 moisture balance and we're just trying to show you the consumables. These aluminum pans they never should be reused. These are basically disposable and every test you run you should be using a new aluminum moisture pan. So let me just talk briefly about these oil-free aluminum pans. These pans they come 50 to a box, 500 pieces to a case and I'll show them to you in a minute. They basically can handle heat up to 200, uh, I'm sorry, 1250 degrees Fahrenheit. So these moisture pans can handle really any temperature for any of the moisture balances on the market today. This particular moisture balance here is the Sartorius MA35 maximum temperature is 160 degrees C. Uh, the moisture pans themselves the upper diameter or the top diameter is 4 inches the bottom diameter on the bottom is 3 and 7 eighths the height your height of these moisture pans is 5 sixteenths and they weigh about 2.7 grams each. So these are the aluminum disposable pans and for our filter pads we have filter pads also. The filter pads you'll notice on the top is very rough and on the bottom is very smooth. So when you're running a test you want to put your sample on the rough side and then you would put another filter pad on the top so that the heating element is facing the smooth side. So let's just show you basically I have an MA35 here again and what I want to do is just tear out the balance so I tear it out. Typically if you're running a test you would put one filter pan on the balance I'm sorry one aluminum pan on the balance and you can see it's 2.7 grams or, and basically you just want to tear it out so if I I would just tear out the pan itself and then you would want to put your sample on. So this here is coffee altogether. And one would put coffee on the pan. And here, I'll just um, try to put this on. Each pan could weigh slightly different. So when you do run your test, and you always want to maximize surface area. So you want to spread it out so there is no clumps whatsoever. And so you'd have it on your pan and you would just run your test. Now, if your sample is something of a sludge or something that's going to, when it heats up, go, go into spatter, you want to be using these filter pads. So this is just basically ketchup for, for an example. And what you would do is you'd put your ketchup on and then you'd want to put another filter on top and do a squish and roll. So this is what it should look like. Nice spread out. And you would put these filter pads again right on your pan and you would tear it out and then run your test. You could also use anything that's creamy or chunky you definitely want to use filter pads again and again you'll notice the rough side is where I have my sample and you would basically again some people can just run one filter other times you want to put another one on the top and again the smooth side would be up and so you would just Place this on the filter, the two of them together, and you want to just squish it around so that there are no clumps whatsoever. So we offer, we'll just go over one more time, you can buy the filter pads. These filter pads come 200 to a box, or you can buy a case of 4,000. And these should be used anytime you're using something that has... Um, you know that it's going to spatter all together. If you're running your moisture balance and you open up the lid and on the top of the lid and around here you see a lot of foreign material, you're going to be needing filter pads. In regards to the aluminum pans here, there's 50 to a case. That's how they come. I'm sorry, 50, 50 in each box. And then you can purchase them by the case. And for a case of them, they would come like so. So you would get 10 boxes, 50 in each box. 
Um, so that's basically it. Again, filter pads. You would be using the filter pads. These filter pads also, they are binder-free um, filter pads. And you would use them for any kind of slurry where you'd get some skinning or bubbling up or spattering. When, moisture, when the moisture balance test is uh, being ran with the filter pads, you are going to get better results. So you might want to buy a box and see how your results are. If you are working with any kind of liquid substances where you have 70% water or greater, you definitely want to be using these filter pads. And again, you would just use a syringe and spread the material on the filter pad. Uh, again, filter pads for any kind of clumpy substances. The goal is to maximize surface area, so you do not want any clumps. So you can see this filter here, I've squished the material down and I've increased the surface area. In regards to the aluminum pans, there are a lot of people that could tell you you can use any pan you want, and that's not the case. These disposable pans you'll see in the bottom, they're nice and smooth, and the goal is to again maximize surface area not have any kind of divots or valleys because you're not going to get proper drying. If you have any questions, give us a call. We're Precision Weigh and Balances. You can find us on the internet at either balances.com or scaleman.com. These filter and aluminum pans would go with all of the AHOS MB35, 23, 45 Moisture Balance, the Sartorius, and also Mettler. They will not work on A and D and they will not work on Shumatsu moisture balances. Thanks for watching this video. Again, give us a call if you have any questions.